Tesla Inc. said it would invest more than $3.6 billion to expand its Nevada Gigafactory complex with two new factories, one to mass produce its long-delayed semi-electric truck and the other to make its new 4,680 battery cell. Together, the facilities will employ about 3,000 people, extending the electric vehicle maker's complex east of Reno, where it runs a battery joint venture with Japan's Panasonic Corp. 6,752T and makes vehicle parts and power backup systems. In today's video, we will be showing you how Tesla is building heavy trucks at a new factory in Nevada. Without further ado, let's begin. Panasonic currently supplies cells to the Giga factory and Tesla assembles them into battery packs there. Tesla has struggled to ramp up production of the 4,680 at its factories in Fremont, California and Austin, Texas. Experts say the dry coating technique used to produce the bigger cells in these batteries is new and unproven, and the company has been having trouble scaling up manufacturing to the point where the big cost savings kick in. The move suggests Tesla is finally committing to large-scale production of the semi, which was initially supposed to begin rolling out of factory doors in 2019. Tesla made the first semi deliveries in December to PepsiCo, but there is no sign of a high rate of output of the model. Other customers that have ordered Semis include Brewer & Huser Bush, United Parcel Service Inc., and Walmart Incorporated. The Semi is a truck for 18-wheel semi-trailer vehicles and has a range of 500 miles, 800 kilometers, on a single charge with a gross weight of 81,000 pounds, 37 tons, including trailer and cargo. It may qualify for tax credits of $40,000 offered for clean commercial vehicles under the Inflation Reduction Act. Tesla Chair Robin Denholm said in November that Tesla might produce 100 semis in 2022, but the company disclosed no figure for the model in its fourth quarter production report. The EV maker aimed to produce 50,000 semis in 2024, Musk said on a post-earnings call in October. Tesla's Tuesday announcement is the latest in more than $300 billion in private sector investment in clean energy and semiconductor manufacturing announced since the president took office. Mitch Landrieu, senior advisor to U.S. President Joe Biden, said the cell plant would be able to make enough batteries for 2 million light-duty vehicles annually, including batteries using the 4,680 type cell. The 4,680 is key to Tesla meeting a goal of having battery costs and ramping up battery production nearly 100-fold by 2030. Tesla will build a factory in northern Nevada that will manufacture electric semi-trucks, the company said Tuesday, putting pressure on traditional truck makers like Daimler and Volvo that are just beginning to sell battery-powered vehicles. The factory, along with a new battery plant, will add 3,000 employees at an existing Tesla facility east of Reno. Tesla said it would invest $3.6 billion in the truck plant and the new factory to build the company's most advanced battery cells. The construction of the factory signals that Tesla is serious about the semi-truck, which it unveiled in 2017 but has so far built in limited numbers. In December, Tesla delivered a few of the trucks to PepsiCo, its first customer. Manufacturers like Daimler Truck, Volvo, and Trayton, a unit of Volkswagen, had said they are committed to producing vehicles that generate no tailpipe emissions but trucks powered by diesel fuel still dominate the industry. If the Tesla truck is a success, it could put the same kind of pressure on established truck makers that car makers faced from Tesla's electric cars and sport utility vehicles. The success of Tesla cars forced General Motors, Ford Motor, Volkswagen, and other automakers to reply with their own electric vehicles, appending the industry. But it is unclear how many truck buyers will switch to electric vehicles and how quickly. Fleet owners pay close attention to the cost of ownership of the vehicles they buy, carefully calculating the price of fuel, maintenance, and driver downtime. Tesla's semi is likely to cost more to buy than a conventional heavy truck and will be attractive only if customers figure they can make up the difference in lower fuel and maintenance expenses. Tesla advertises that its truck will have a range of 500 miles, which probably makes it most suitable for relatively short routes. There is no comprehensive charging network for trucks. Until a network exists, 
the semi is likely to appeal mostly to customers that run trucks from depots where they can charge overnight. Daimler, which owns Freightliner trucks, is banking on hydrogen fuel cells as the best way to eliminate tailpipe emissions from long-haul trucks. Volvo, the second-largest truck maker worldwide after Daimler, is pursuing a similar strategy. But neither has begun mass-producing hydrogen fuel trucks, and hydrogen remains much more expensive than diesel. News of Tesla's decision to build the truck factory emerged on Monday when Nevada's governor, Joe Lombardo, mentioned it during a speech. Automaker Tesla announced Tuesday it is investing $3.6 billion to build two new factories in Nevada, including a facility to mass-produce its all-electric Class 8 semi-truck. Semi is our fully electric combination truck with 500 miles of range and energy consumption of fewer than 2 kilowatts hour per mile, the company said on its website. Thank you to the Tesla team, our supply chain partners, and the local community that has made accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy possible at Gigafactory Nevada. The other factory will produce batteries for the Tesla Cybertruck, as well as the Semi. Together, the plants will employ about 3,000 people. Austin, Texas-based Tesla first announced the Semi-Truck in 2017, but production experienced numerous delays. On December 1, Tesla delivered the first semi-trucks to PepsiCo subsidiary Frito-Lay in Modesto, California. Musk has said the company will produce up to 50,000 semi-trucks per year. Word of another Tesla semi that appears to be broken down on the side of the road is making the rounds on Twitter. Since Tesla started delivering its long-awaited Class 8 electric truck to customers last month, several of the vehicles have been spotted on the side of the road, apparently broken down. One PepsiCo Tesla was seen getting towed by another truck. The sightings have called into question the reliability of Tesla's new electric semi, which started production at the company's Nevada manufacturing facility in October after years of delays. The truck was originally supposed to start production in 2019. Yet another apparently stranded Tesla semi was making the rounds on Twitter Thursday. The video, originally shared on TikTok, appears to be from earlier this month in Modesto, California. It's not an encouraging sign for investors already worried about the serious economic headwinds Tesla faces this year. But alarm bells aren't going off quite yet, said Wedbush analyst Dan Ives. These are not the images and sites you want to see, Ives said. But no red flags yet. What will be important to see is how they handle it. Quality control is very important. Tesla is known for working out kinks after its vehicles make it into customers' hands via over-the-air updates. But the company has had varying degrees of success with this strategy and faces a federal probe into the self-driving software it updates that way. Tesla first introduced a Class 8 prototype in 2017, initially setting a production date of December 2019. The program was led by former Daimler executive Jerome Gillen, who left the company in 2021. Following Gillen's departure and a series of supply chain issues, Tesla pushed back the start of semi-production to 2022. So guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I will see you in the next video.